Hi guys. So, ooh, I'm going to use my head to block that because that's really bright. All right. So, <laughs> um, it's been a while. Um, I'm here today. I want to do a little bit of a rant. Um, so forgive me. It's going to be a little bit long. Um, and this is my second time actually recording this video because I want to get it right. In case you're wondering where I'm at, I am recording in the basement. In other words, it's the storage area for the workout equipment that nobody uses. <laughs> Don't ask why. So, anyways, I have um, most of it written down because um, I was actually at work yesterday and something happened and it occurred to me, I really need to block that light. <laughs> it occurred to me that we have a problem. So, when I was at work, I wrote down most of my thoughts um, as they occurred so I didn't forget about them. And, uh, so, let me share them with you. So I had a customer, this was written yesterday, so I didn't work today, I worked yesterday. I wrote this, planned on recording it after work, and in fact, I did record it after work yesterday. Anyways, not my, not important. Um, <laughs> anyways, I had a customer at work and in, walk in today, and he had a grocery total of $6.78. The man gave me $7. After hitting the button on the register for $7, I asked the man if he had uh, three cents. The man said yes and proceeded to pull out the coins. When I handed him a quarter, the man asked, did you do that in your head? I replied, yes, sir. The man then told me how he was surprised because most people my age don't know how to do math. The man then asked how far I went with math. When I told him that I'm in college, I asked, he asked if I was a math major. I replied, no, sir. I'm actually an art major. He was even more surprised and continued to compliment me. What this conversation shows me is a very sad reality. Adults have given up. Each generation gets worse and worse with it, and they learn from the previous generations that this is how it's supposed to be. For longer than I have even realized, I have faced criticism based entirely on my age and my generation. Young people don't know how to do this. Young people don't know how to do math. Young people don't know how to socialize. People are so young people are so rude. Uh, when I was a kid, this was like this, and I'm sure you've all heard it before. But you know what? It's wrong. My generations and the generations after me are accused of being unintelligent and unable to succeed in anything or do anything with myself. All kids do these days is text, play video games, and look at Facebook. I'm sure we've heard that. And now, even as part of this generation, I've had some of these thoughts. And thinking, I think everybody after a certain point has. Because I was taught to think like that. I was taught to feel that way. By the generations before me. Ever since realizing this, I have con corrected my way of thinking. And you know what I found? I looked at the generations below me and I saw compassionate, intelligent, creative, and funny individuals with great potential. The problem is that they are boxed in. Boxed into these stereotypes that they are no good. As a result, nothing they do seems good enough for the approval of the older generations. It was our parents and our grandparents' generations that created much of the technology that we use today. And while many people use it, many people complain about it. Because the younger generations were raised with it, they have a better understanding of it. But the older generations criticize the younger ones and even blame everything that is wrong with the world on technology and the generations that frequently use it. So I know this seems a bit scattered, but allow me to present you with a bit of a history lesson. Now this is American history, and I'll tell you why. I like American history. <laughs> and world history is just way too long. But if you were to look at any history, anybody's history at all, I'm sure and I can guarantee that you will find the same trends and parallels throughout any history in the world. When North America was discovered, for the longest time, discovering the new land was the frontier. Then, conquering the land was the new frontier. Moving forward to what is probably the most famous, when the American people weren't satisfied with the land they had and they began moving west, this was known famously or infamously depending on who you are, as the Western Frontier. After all the land was discovered and in use, the U.S. turned to industry, 
into education, into nuclear weapons, and even to the moon. These were only some of the most famous frontiers in U.S. history, and there were many in between. One of the newest frontiers began with the creation of computers and more advanced technology. It wasn't long before technology became advanced as advanced today, and it continues to be the newest frontier. Without our frontiers, we would not have gotten to where we are today. If people didn't push to explore, learn, and create what we, we, and to create, we would not have running water, heating or cooling systems, cars, or any of the other luxuries that we take for granted. So why is it that technology receives so much criticism? Why is it that the younger generations are discouraged and criticized when they explore this frontier? There are dangers with every new discovery. But if nobody is willing to take that risk, we will not grow and evolve into a greater people. With all things, there is a balance. And, we, and don't get me wrong. Too much of anything is not healthy. However, this is a not new opportunity to develop as an advanced species. In the end, what I'm trying to say is... <laughs> And this is not actually a good conclusion, by the way. It goes on for another two pages. Sorry. Um, <laughs> we're not stupid. We're not obsessed with technology. We're not brainwashed. We are exploring new potential behind the next frontier. So that we can provide for our future and pr push our future generations in the right direction. Don't assume that we, know, we don't know anything just because we look at and use computers. Don't put us down and discourage us from exploring. Because without... Without it, we cannot evolve. As much as people like to promote change, they complain about it more. The biggest problem with that is that they don't even give it a chance before they complain and find all the faults they possibly can. For example, in America recently, we've started using uh, the chip readers in our debit cards. Uh, I'm sure most of your most most countries, many countries, have started using this already. Ours is kind of late to the game here. But, the thing is, it's different. And a lot of people have found ways to criticize it. Oh, it's running too slow, it's harder to do, it takes longer, it's, I don't understand how it's more secure. And they come up with all these reasons why it's bad. But they don't give it a chance. Just like they don't give us a chance. Take a second and look at us as people. Not as kids, not as a stupid generation behind the stereotype. Look at us as the future. I know it sounds very stuck up or conceited to say that we are here to create a better future. But if we do, didn't have high goals, it, if we didn't have high goals, if we didn't have insane imaginations, if we didn't reach for things people don't believe in, then we wouldn't have where, what we have today. Computers and communication. I mean, look back couple hundred years ago, do you think they would have believed us if we would have said, hey, we're going to have the technology to talk to somebody on the other side of the world within seconds? I mean, just imagine. It went from, you know, personal messages to tele uh, to mail letters in the mail to telegrams to eventually telephones, and now we have computers. It's evolving. But it will continue to evolve, and there's more potential to get better. Yes, there are dangers, and it is important to be aware of them. But we shouldn't be so afraid that we don't leave our comfort zone. No growth can happen unless we do. Instead of putting us down for us, or should, or, instead of putting us down for it, show us how to utilize it in progressive ways that can help. We have more potential than you guys give us credit for. So please let us use that potential and explore it. So that's my rant. And I hope you guys don't get too offended by it either. Um, but I really wanted to say it's, it's important that we encourage generations below us to grow and develop in positive ways. Because our world has so much more potential than we realize. And only they can put it where it belongs and push it into that future. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any thoughts or comments, please leave a comment in the comment section below. 
and if you have any ideas on what you want to hear from me next or any um, thoughts on this topic, please let me know. I'll get back to you with that as um, soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!